Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a little exercise to practice pedal tones in the right way. And the right way, as I've said in a lot of previous videos, is to play those pedal tones without shifting the mouthpiece. So, without shifting the mouthpiece means that there is a little movement of your jaw. When you go down in the register, your lower jaw goes a little bit forward and you still put a lot of air and it is not slow air, we will talk about that in some previous videos, this is a big misconception, it's a myth, put fast air when you play high, put slow air when you play low, this is a myth, you can measure it, there's ways to measure it and I will do a full video on this, but what I want is to talk about those pedal notes in the jaws and not shifting the mouthpiece, meaning not uh, moving the mouthpiece on the on the lips so the mouthpiece stays where it is and we play that pedal note exactly where you would play other registers but before we get started on the exercise if this is the first time we meet my name is Raf and on this channel we talk about brass playing more specifically trombone playing but it's applicable applicable for most brass instruments I play the bass trombone this is my main instrument I also play euphonium um, and we also do some arrangements, some equipment reviews and so on. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So in this exercise, what I want to do, I want to go back to those bendings. We've done some exercises on the channel of bending the notes. It's great for your register, it's great for your sound, it's great for your intonation, it's great for your flexibility and it's great for building good and strong chops. And this exercise is going to build on that. So we're going to do some bending octaves from the B flat to the B flat. This is where we're going to start. And then um, we can do it a few times. This is an exercise that you don't practice with the metronome. Again, it's really take, it's not about being on time, but it's about taking the time. Take the time to do the movement right. So what you're going to do, you're going to do a bend from an octave to the pedal note. And then once you've done it a few times, then attack, the, attack that pedal note and keep the same embouchure, keep the same position of the mouthpiece on your lips. Um, there's a little extra thing that we will do also, once you've done that a few times, a couple of times, then you can do the bend, play that pedal note, and then keep the mouthpiece where it is, breathe through the nose, Breathe through the nose so that you don't move the mouthpiece at all and then re-attack that pedal note. So we're going to do it. I'm just going to show you the example just to make this video quite short and do it on all, on, on all notes. So you start on the B flat, then you go down to second position on the A, then on the A flat, etc. And then start introducing some valves also so that you can do the pedal E flats, the pedal Ds, the pedal D flats, the pedal Cs and so on. Um, always keeping this good embouchure, always keeping this good position. Just one little warning before we start the exercise, if there's a note that you cannot play, so if you're doing it on the B flat, it's working, on the A it's working, and then on the A flat it is not working, try again a few times and then go back up. If it's still not working, go back up a semitone to where it was working and then go back down again and then go back up and then go back down again and then go back up and then go back down again and at some point it will work. I guarantee it will work. It takes practice, it takes patience, it takes perseverance and again if you really want to improve your brass playing, if you really want to improve your trombone playing and your register, do not take shortcuts. It's too easy but you will hit the wall. We've talked about it so many times. I'm not going to repeat myself in this video, uh, you know, step by step, it takes time. Playing the trombone is not only an art, it's a craft. You have to really learn the craft, learn the technique, the proper technique, so that then you can play beautiful sounds that make beautiful music. So let's get started on the exercise. So starting on the B flat, we're going to bend down, I'm going to empty my water in the plant. My plant never died because I keep watering, <laughs> emptying my water. So we're starting on the B flat and we're going to bend the note. Remember when we did bending, so it's going to be like Please 
uh, pay attention, I'm going to try to come a little bit closer, pay attention that I'm not shifting the mouthpiece. Of course I'm moving a little bit, there is a little bit of movement. I hope that I'm not puffing my cheeks too much, a little bit is not so bad. Try to avoid as much as you can, but don't don't be too crisp, you know, don't be too, too tensed, too crisp, too tense, you know, so um, keep it relaxed but strong, so flexible. So try to really pay attention here. So still strong, you see I've shaved, you can see it better now, I've shaved, still strong here. I do feel, I, I'm looking at the little screen on my camera, I do see a little bit, that's why sometimes I'm not looking right at you, but I'm looking on the side, looking at the little screen. Sometimes I do see a little bit of puffiness of the air in my cheek, I'm going to try to eliminate that a little bit, but the most important thing is that you see that this stays stable, that this does not move, just a little bit of the chin, pull the beard like this. Um, just to get a little bit more space because in the low register we do want the bottom lip to vibrate more at a lower frequency so uh, you know it's like a string it's like if you play a cello you put your fingers on the string and the shorter the string the higher the pitch right it's exactly the same for us so let's do it again and then we're going to attack the note Same, same position, same exact position. And then we're going to do the last little part that I told you in the introduction. We're going to breathe through the note, nose just so that we make sure that we don't move anything. Once you're there, you can play a few notes, a few pedal B flats, just to really get the sensation. Now we move a semitone lower. Always the same. We went to the third position. You can go as low as you as you want, really, to the fourth position. The important is to do this glissando. The reason why we do this glissando is precisely so that you don't have the temptation to move the mouthpiece around on your lips and don't do that shift. Now the last part that we want you to do is when you let when you get to your lowest note, it doesn't matter if it's an F, doesn't matter if it's the B flat actually, whatever. Um, just play a few long notes on that and really keep the sensation. And what I want you to do is to close your eyes and to be really, really aware of what is going on in your embouchure and you'll see that things are working well because you've done this exercise and what I want us to do is to memorize it. We want us to trigger our muscle memory. We want to anchor that sensation of playing correctly in the low register into our brains so that when it comes the time when you're in a big band and you need to play those notes or you're playing a solo piece and you need to play those notes, whatever musical context you're in, that your muscles they remember exactly that good sensation we're going to we're going to practice a lot of anchoring different sensations into our brains we're going to do this now for the low register but we're also going to do it for the high register we're going to do it for sound and eventually i'm going to make some videos on peak performance i'm going to make some videos on on um, 
battling stage fright and angst and uh, you know stress when you're on stage sometimes some people they completely lose it they get so nervous they can't play we're going to be anchoring those sensations of calm we're going to do some meditations on the trombone some specific some specific exercises for that now we're doing it for the low register so after you've done do doing this exercise a little bit you're on that last note where you could really play and just do a few long tones, close your eyes and just really focus on the sensation. Focus on the touch of your mouthpiece on your lips. Focus on the flow of your air. Focus on trying to really uh, see, feel and see inside of your head your lips vibrating optimally inside of the mouthpiece. So... This is the E flat, of course you can't be in my brain, but you know, like, close your eyes and just play a few notes. If you really feel it, do a little glissando to the next note. and so on. If you want to continue, continue. What's very important is that you finish the session on a note that is comfortable to play. And don't fool yourself. You can, and, and don't fool yourself and don't compete with others. Don't compete with me. It is not a battle that I can play lower than you or that your colleague can play lower than you or whatever. Compete with yourself. Always, tr always be at your own standard. You can judge yourself, that's fine, but according to your own standards. Not according to me or to another YouTuber or to your teacher or to your favorite player or whatever. Really judge yourself towards yourself and that's very, very important. You're going to have to practice some humility so that you have the capacity to learn what it is that you need to learn. And in this case, in that particular exercise, you need to have the humility to say no. My last note, the only note that I'm comfortable playing in this register is the B flat. And that's fine. That is perfectly okay. I was not able to play uh, pedal B flats for a long time. I was not able to play C's. I was not able to play F's. Uh, it takes time, it takes perseverance, but most of all, it takes a little bit of discipline. So be disciplined with yourself, don't fool yourself, don't try to go too fast, this is not a fast process. Again, it is a craft. Somebody that's learning how to paint or to sculpt or to build a beautiful instrument, it takes years of practice and getting better and you know, fine-tuning your technique. So this is what we want to do in this channel. That's it for today. If you want to receive the exercises in PDF formats and most importantly, I think this is the most interesting part, uh, if you want to get some one-on-one -on -one feedback from me, uh, I will link my Patreon page below. This is for multiple things. First of all, it's to support the, the channel. I would really appreciate if you want to support the channel. But also for you, I think one-on-one -on -one feedback at all times uh, will really improve your, your playing. They're, the people that are already participating, they've made tremendous progress because they practice an exercise or an attitude and immediately they send me an email with it in it, you know? like So it's not taking an appointment to make a lesson on Skype or whatever. You do your exercise, everybody has a little way to record with your phone, whatever. You record it, you send it directly to me and I send you some feedback. And you know, if you, if you have an exercise every single day, you can send it to me every single day. Don't send me your whole session, your whole two hour session of practice. Yeah, how's my practice? No, send me little snippets where you have questions, ask your questions, etc. So this is available for all my Patreons, uh, Patreon followers, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you've not done so already, please subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of new content coming. I'm going to try to post as much as possible, as useful as possible, some exercises. I've made a poll on Instagram and people want low register, so we're going to stay on that a little bit. We are going to go on the uh, high register also. We're going to do a lot, a lot of things. This is only the start of a new journey. Uh, make sure you're on my Instagram actually because I do post some mini versions of these exercises there for less than a minute. 
Um, so get there and that's it. If you've liked this video, please put a thumbs up. If you've not enjoyed it or if you have questions or feedback, whatever, please put them in the comments below this video and I will see you in the very next one. Take care. Ciao.